Speaking of old movies, do you guys remember the Francis Ford Coppola trailer we watched not too long ago for yes. his new movie, Megalopolis? That disaster? It looks like a fucking disaster. Well, apparently, the guys at Lionsgate that were in charge of putting the trailer together, they made a trailer with a bunch of fake quotes. You know how like those what? like you know like the press gives out blurbs about movies and shit. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this this trailer was putting out blurbs about previous Francis Ford Coppola movies where everybody said that it was gonna suck, but turns out to be, have been a huge movie or whatever, or amazing movie. Well, it turns out all these blurbs that the guy used in the trailer were made up. <laughs> so I got a little a little. Uh, that's a weird marketing us. campaign. <laughs> right, that's a, little, that's a weird tactic. Well, let's take a look. Lionsgate has taken down its trailer for Francis Ford Coppola's Megalopolis after using fake quotes from Megalopolis. Megalopolis. <laughs> movie critics for the footage. The trailer launched Monday and featured supposed snippets from previous reviews for Coppola's masterpieces, such as The Godfather, The Godfather Part Two, and Apocalypse Now. His latest, Megalopolis, has been divisive and controversial from the get-go. I kind of can't wait to see this movie. It's either going to be amazing or a complete and utter fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> either way, no, I, I'm I watched, down. I watched that trailer and I have no fucking clue what that movie's supposed to be about. It feels like The Fountainhead, but like on acid. I don't know what the Fountainhead is. It's about architects. It's really, it's one of those Ayn Rand books. It's the one that all the people, oh, you didn't read the Fountainhead? Oh, the Fountainhead is so fountainy. Are, are you saying I would have flicked him in the forehead and said, shut up, nerd. I don't read books. Are you saying it's going to either be The Godfather 2 or The Godfather 3? It's either going to be The Godfather 2 or Speed Racer. That's objectively worse. I got to mm. run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And these fabricated quotes seem to show that Coppola has been doubted before, even for movies that are considered classics. But the negative quotes featured in the trailer do not actually appear in those vintage reviews. A Lionsgate spokesperson said in a statement, Lionsgate is immediately recalling our trailer for Megalopolis. We offer... <laughs> I can't think of another time this has ever happened. So he made it up. Fake bad quotes about his old movies to show that there's always no, been people the, making bad the, quotes. Whoever or... made the trailer did. It was like their I can't remember what they said the position was, but it was like their marketing coordinator or some bullshit. Inexcusable error in our vetting process. We screwed up. We are sorry. <laughs> I can't remember a movie studio ever doing this. You know what? I accept I was... that apology. That the end yeah, of that apology you know is fantastic. Me? It's all right. Don't worry about it, bro. Done. <laughs> We're cool. You know We're what? Back to you should do more fake uh, blurbs on your movies. Right. We're back to thinking you just make mediocre movies. Awesome. Yeah. Sincere apologies to the critics involved and to Francis Ford Coppola and American Zotrope for this inexcusable error in our vetting process. We screwed up. We are sorry. Andrew Saris is the vintage voice review was quoted as calling <laughs> a sloppy self-indulgent movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was a quote from a 70s uh critic or 70s review. Like a sloppy self-indulgent yeah, maybe, was... but that feels very modern speak that was back in the day where they just they put praise on all those movies didn't matter what the hell it was well you still had people like criticize them but they were like a lot more elegant with their yeah. the way they spoke this about shit's it whack, yo <laughs> that's like that's like the the uh that tv show where they were uh they were in the 90s and then they start that that the girl in the 90s started talking about like non-binary stuff and it was like that didn't oh, exist uh, back then yeah fucking ted show yeah ted that, never that watched the shit out of me never watched it never there's will. some 
there's some funny parts, but it's basically the same thing as Family Guy. Well, I hated American the movies. Dad. It's the same so, fucking thing. I hated the movies, they, so I'm just like not interested, you know? They did the same thing in uh, in the Goldbergs, because the Goldbergs is set in the 80s, and, uh, and the dad found a house with a media room in it, and he was freaking out. I was like, there was no such thing as a media room in the 80s. <laughs> they didn't... <laughs> TVs weren't big enough to have media rooms in the well, 80s. Well, you still have those big screen TVs that were like massive pro rear projector ones. I lived through uh, the 80s. Nobody ever said the word media room in the 80s. Yeah, they might call it like that. their TV room or something like that. The TVs no, weren't that you big had your living that. room. <laughs> you would need your own movie theater, like a projector to do all any of that. Oh, and everybody movies. had four and five kids. Like you didn't have enough rooms to have a media room. Calling The Godfather a sloppy, self-indulgent movie, while Pauline Kael's New Yorker review supposedly called it diminished by its artsiness. The New York Times has been... <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a, a review yeah, so, for this. Diminished so by what they were artsiness. doing is they were bringing out negative quotes of old movies to they justify made the negative quotes he was getting for the... Yeah, yeah they made up old quotes for the exactly. old movies to justify how they were getting hate on the new movie. Exactly. You know, he explained that before we started watching this. I right? know, but then he told me, he told me no when you were gone to the bathroom. I, that's not true at all. N no what? That's what we we could roll the tape. <laughs> review of Apocalypse Now, supposedly called the 1979 film hollow at its core, and Roger Ebert accused Dracula of being style over substance. But none of those quotes were real. Oddly enough, some of the original reviews do indeed feature How quotes dare you that taken out of context. To besmirch the name of Roger Ebert. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think God did that already. <laughs> Roger, he was just like, you know what, Roger, you're talking a lot of bad shit. He talks <laughs> mad shit of this. Throat cancer. <laughs> Context, as they often are in movie trailers, may have served the purpose of painting a picture that Coppola has been doubted before. The filmmaker spent decades getting the $120 million epic off the ground and brought it to Cannes in May, where it was greeted with a 10-minute standing ovation from the audience, but mixed response from critics. Lionsgate boarded as a distributor, though the filmmaker or his investors are expected to pay for the marketing. For more on the... You know, I was thinking that was Adrian Brody for like the longest time, and then I realized that's actually uh, oh, Kylo that's Ren. Kylo Ren, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that? He looks like Adrian Brody. He's like 10 feet taller than Adrian Brody. And and Adrian his nose Brody's is like half the size. Adrian Brody's like 95 pounds. Yeah, so is that guy. Which is which is why the Predator old. movie he was in was so hilarious. Look, look, that's Shia. That's Shia. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Shia. This is the movie he thought he was going to get his fucking... No <laughs> wonder he went Catholic back. after this. Dot <laughs> com. And for the latest you know, entertainment news... Bottom. Is that Aubrey Plaza? Yes. Gosh, she's getting old woman jowls she like a... Fuck, crazy, yeah, man. so quick, and she's got she is a terrible blonde. Dan updates. Keep watching the Hollywood Reporter news. I can't believe they let no, that thanks. slide. Like no one went. Ah, uh, maybe we should check to make sure these quotes are all accurate. You know, well, we the don't quotes get... are from like the seventies. Who the hell would know? You could just look up the review. I'm sure they're they're archived somewhere online. You think so? They, you think somebody archived like reviews of movies from? fucking 50 years ago yeah yeah i think there's all types uh, of people in, out there if if they didn't the archive the article themselves they might have archived the magazine that the article was from yeah those people are called hoarders they're that magazine's under a fucking 10 pot 10 pound pile of cat shit